Hey guys, welcome to Troy Time. Check it out. It's the third video in our turkey canning series, okay? This is awesome. All right, so this one we're going to call double duty, okay? We're going to do two turkeys, okay? We're going to process two turkeys. It's almost nine o'clock. It's almost nine o'clock at night. We're gonna process two turkeys in about three hours. So it's gonna be awesome, okay? We're gonna do a 50-50. We're gonna do part of it in the canner and then we're gonna cook the rest in the oven. It's gonna be awesome. I hope you follow along. Here's number three, baby. Here we go. Okay guys, much like our last video, we're gonna prepare our roasting pan. We're gonna use three vegetables. We're gonna use about a half pound of carrots, four celery stalks, and an onion. It's going in the pot. Okay, there it is. While we're over here at the oven, we're going to preheat to 300, 350 degrees. Okay guys, here are two turkeys. They're both slightly over 21 pounds. You could do this with just one turkey. I'm doing two because I want to run, make sure I run a full canner. Okay guys, so the gist of what we're going to do is we're going to cold pack the chicken breasts and then we're going to cook the leg quarters in the oven. We're going to set aside the wings. We're going to do those in the air fryer. We're going to try a little something new with those in the air fryer in another video. Okay, so I'm just going to repeat that process on the second one. By the way, in case I didn't mention it, I did remove the turkey neck out of the front of the cavity here, and I did re remove the pouch full of all the innard stuff uh, out the back as well, so those are gone. Some people use those. I don't, I don't particularly like those. I don't use those. So we're going to do the same thing, get this uh, second turkey ready to go. Okay, I'm no butcher, but each time I do this, I get a little better, okay? So these are our turkey wings. These we're going to set aside. We're going to do something probably in the air fryer with those. Haven't quite decided, but those that's something for another day. So these are our leg quarters, okay? I've kind of got them in there, kind of jangled in place, just so we get as, as much meat exposure as, uh, as we can, right? So those are going to go in the oven. And then this is the chicken breasts over here, or turkey breasts, okay? So we're going to cube those up and put those in the canner. But first, let's get our oven going. All right, so for the turkey legs, what we're gonna use is, just like in our last video, butter. We're gonna melt two sticks of butter, and then we're gonna put the other, just cut into little cubes, we're gonna put the other two sticks of butter into the, uh, the bottom of the tray. Then we're gonna go salt and pepper and Italian um, seasoning. I'm also adding about a cup of chicken broth, just to kind of get all those uh, veggies on the bottom wet. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna take our melted butter and our basting brush, and I'm just gonna brush over things. And then I'm actually just going to pour all the butter in the pan when I'm done. All right, to that mix, we're going to add salt and pepper. A little for the broth. A lot of these seasonings are going to um, get washed away when we actually do the basting, so it's okay to go heavy on the seasonings. So here's the deal, guys. We're going to cook these for two hours, and we'll see how we get with that. It should be good. We're not going to cover them for the first half hour, and we're not going to cover them for the last half hour. So the middle, we'll put the top on, that middle hour. But your two edges, your bookends, they're not going to be covered. Okay? So let's do this. We've got our rack down near the bottom. Lower middle. There we go. Set a timer, 30 minutes. We're going to baste it every 30 minutes. All right, guys, we're going to take the chicken breast, sorry, we're going to take the turkey breast, and we're just going to cut them up into cubes, okay, or strips, okay? I'll, I'll do the first one, and then I'll cut back when I'm done.
Okay, and here's our turkey wings put away for another day. Okay, so that's two and a half quarts. Okay guys, it looks like I lost some footage when I was reviewing some stuff and that's unfortunate. But it's uh, too late to start all over. But we're here at the canner. We have two and a half um, quarts of cold water in the canner and we also have our trivet in place, okay? We've loaded our, um, we put a little bit of chicken bouillon on the bottom, just a teaspoon or so, and we've loaded our um, cold chicken, I'm sorry, cold turkey into the cans, okay? And that's where we're at. Our lids are soaking over here and we're just debubbling now. With a raw pack, you don't have to add any liquid. It makes its own. It's actually kind of making it just as I have it in the jars here. As it's being compressed, the liquid's coming out of it. Okay. And you want to leave about one inch of head space on these. Okay. And so we're a little shy of that on a couple. I'm going to add a little here, one there, one here, one here. Okay, he's a little too big. We'll put him back and we'll put this one in. There. Okay, I feel pretty good about that. Okay guys, it's time to baste the turkey and put the cover on. Oh, it's looking good. That'll work. Now we let it stay in the oven for Another hour with the lid, but we're going to baste it in another 30 minutes. All right, guys, it's time to get these in the can. Let's get these lids on, baby. Okay. So we left one inch of headspace at the top. Everything is cold. The water in the canner is cold. The jars are cold. The meat is cold. But not for long, baby. We're going to heat these up. Finger tight on the rims, like always. Jars in the canner, like always. Paying special attempt, attention to where this little red nipple is at. We might need to make sure that when we turn it, it's not over a jar. We want to give that some headspace as well. So we'll turn the jars and orient them so that there is a space there in our cannon. We're going to close our lid. We are cold packing. We're going to make sure we are set to exhaust up top. We're going to go high for 90 minutes because we're doing quartz. Ninety minutes it took us a minute to get there. All right, ninety minutes, and then we hit start. It's going to do a run pattern. It is going to do E10 to E0, and then we're going to flip our switch to airtight. This is how much we had left over. This will go in a bag for another day. Uh, it's about one quart worth. We could can that tomorrow if we if we can something else. Or find another use for it. We'll probably uh, shred it up, put it in some soups, do some different things. Okay? Okay, we're at the one hour mark at the oven. It's time to take off the lid, baste it, and put the lid back on and let it go another half hour. These are looking good, guys. There we go. All right, guys, E10 down to E0, and then we flip the switch. E0, time to flip the switch to airtight. We are good to go. Okay guys, we're at the one hour and 30 minute mark, which means it's our last half hour. So we're gonna remove the lid and baste it, just like we've been doing. But now we're gonna judge. Do we need to go all 30 minutes? Do we need to put the lid back on? 
Do we need to reduce the temperature? This is looking not quite done. So I'm going to leave the lid off. I'm going to not reduce the temperature. And I'm going to um, uh, let it go the whole 30 minutes. Because we need to get these things golden brown and they're not there yet. Oop. Okay guys, we're at the two hour mark. Let's check and see what we got. Oh, let me grab this one. Oh, this looks great, man. Okay, that looks really good, but personally, I prefer it a little darker, so I'm going to give it another 10 minutes, okay? Okay, it's time to take out the turkey. The leg quarters. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, those look awesome. All right, let's flip this up. We'll bring you in closer. All right, let's measure this and see what we got. Safe uh, temperature for a turkey is 165 degrees. One seventy-seven, one eighty, one eighty-one. So we're way over that. We're good. You could have it possibly be a little bit more tender, but I love that golden crust. So that's why I wanted to go the extra ten minutes. But I feel good about it. That means it's definitely safe to eat. And look how nice, man. Let me zoom in here. Look how nice that looks. Who doesn't want to eat turkey legs, turkey quarters, like that? wonderful stuff. Just to reiterate a little point, I'm trying all these different ways of preparing turkey and canning turkey. It's not that I expect everyone to do all of them. I want you to find the one that suits you, okay? Sorry for the canner in the background. So this particular method is great. If you're handy with a knife and you don't have a lot of time, then this is the method to do, man. This is the way to go. You know, if you weren't very good with a knife, then do some hot packing because you don't have to cut so much, right? If you um, were good with a knife, then do an entire cold pack if you didn't have much time. This 50-50 method, though, the double duty that we've done with two turkeys, we've processed two turkeys, the canner's almost done, in about three hours, okay? So it's awesome, right? It's awesome. This is going to be great. Imagine now, you could um, start a meal, start, start this process at four in the afternoon, you could have these for dinner. This could be dinner for your family and still pack away four quarts of chicken, um, turkey. So it's awesome. So the 50-50 is a great method. The pre-cooking in the canner is a great method. We've shown that. Even cooking it in the oven, that takes a little longer, right? So maybe you've got the time, but you don't have the knife skill. So if you don't have the skill with the knife to cut it all up, you just then cook it in the oven, then, then can it after that. So I'm showing you all these different options so that you pick the best option that works for you. But this is a great middle of the road, 50-50. We, we've done two turkeys in about three hours. And look at what we have for an end result. It's beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. So I love it. Hope you're following along. Choose whichever option of these turkey cooking methods work for you. Get some turkey canned. Get some turkey cooked. I, I don't know what else to say, guys. This stuff's awesome. All right, here's the drippings. You could strain that and use that for gravies or soup starters or whatever you wanted. And those veggies are good too, guys. Use the veggies as a side dish. They are so good. So just tons of stuff on this. I hope that you're doing this. I hope you're following along. All right, guys. Oh, those look awesome. We're gonna give it a few minutes here just to uh, stabilize and then we'll take them out. All right, guys, let's see what we got. <laughs> oh, look, it's an amazing batch of canned turkey. Who would have thought? Yeah, this stuff's awesome. And there's a ton of it here. So between this, which is awesome, and the turkey drumstick leg quarters, that are awesome as well. Look at this. We got eight pounds of turkey right here. We've got four of the drums, uh, leg quarters over there. And we still got chicken wings that we're going to do in the air fryer. All from these turkeys. Find whichever method works for you and get some turkey stored. 
Um, it's awesome stuff, guys. So I just keep being amazed every time this opens up and we just get more wonderful things like this out of it. I'm going to zoom in and show you a little bit. Yeah, look at that. Completely filled up. Wonderful turkey. This is all white meat right here because we took the breasts. But yeah, look at that. Four of them flying around. Good stuff, baby. Hey, thanks for coming along. We got more coming soon. We're going to do a complete cold pack and we're going to do um, other stuff as well with the turkey canning. We're, don't get too bored with the turkey. There's lots of different ways that we can use it, guys. So this is Troy time. I'm glad you're here. I'm out.